Hello, my dear friends. As the golden glow of sunset washes over the sun-scorched fields of the American South, a quiet red dust begins to settle dot dot. But in that very moment of seeming peace, dark shapes begin to stir. Those shadows aren't from wandering cattle nor timid deer. They belong to a silent, destructive, cunning kind of beast. Wild boars. Don't let their clumsy looks fool you. These wild boars are fast, crafty, and incredibly smart. And that's why trapping them isn't just about setting a few snares. It's a full-scale, carefully orchestrated operation stretching across the entire United States. Wild boars were never meant to be here. They came to America all the way back in the 16th century with European explorers brought over on creaky wooden ships that crossed the ocean. At first, they were just a handful of domesticated pigs brought for food. But over time, they slipped into the wild, multiplied, adapted, and turned into something far more daunting a breed, now known simply as feral hogs. They didn't just survive. They exploded across the land like a wildfire. By 2024, more than 8.3 million of them had spread across 39 states. From just a few pigs on ships, they become one of the most devastating biological invasions in North American history. So severe that they've earned a place among the top 100 most dangerous invasive species on the planet. Why? Because they're not just rooting around for fun. They flatten farmland, tear up sports fields, They even spread deadly diseases to domestic pigs. And at times, they've attacked people too. Every year, wild boars rack up an astonishing $2.5 billion in damages. So most U.S. states now allow people to trap and eliminate wild boars without restriction. It's not just pest control, it's protection. This isn't just about wiping out a nuisance. It's about protecting livelihoods, safeguarding families, and defending an entire way of farming life. But how do you take down one of the smartest animals on this entire continent? First, you have to scout. Wild boars love low-lying areas, riverbeds, creek lines, wetlands, and the shadowy edges of dense forests. Farmers usually track three telltale signs. Narrow trails carved through thick brush. Big muddy hoof prints near water. And deep rooting marks clear evidence of these hogs tearing up the ground in search of food. Access is key. You'll need to haul in bait, traps, and eventually deal with dozens of angry pigs. So pick a spot with shade close to water and near a road or trail for easy reach. Before setting any traps, trappers use bait to condition the herd to get them comfortable with the spot. Wild boars are omnivores, but they absolutely love fermented corn, molasses, and leftover veggies, basically anything with a strong, sweet scent. For one to two weeks, bait is spread out daily. But it's critical to keep humans out of sight. Too much human activity and the boars take off. 
No bait? They'll wander off anyway. So, what's the solution? Trail cameras. Hidden cameras stream live footage straight to a smartphone, letting trappers monitor from afar and refill bait right on time without ever tipping off the herd. Soon enough, the boars start coming back like clockwork. And that's when the real hunt begins. Once they're comfortable enough, traps are set up right where the bait had been, because that's the spot the herd already feels safest. Depending on the size of the group, hunters use large corral traps to catch entire herds, or smaller cage traps for just a few. The walls stand over five feet tall, because these beasts can jump surprisingly high. At first, the trap door stays wide open. The boars walk in eat and casually stroll back out. They get used to it, grow comfortable, and drop their guard. Once the cameras confirm the herd's been feeding there for three nights straight, even the shy ones, that's the green light. The trigger gets set. A trail of bait leads deep inside, keeping them wandering around as long as possible. Until... Bam! The gate slams shut. The entire herd panics, crashing into the steel walls. But the trap is solid, anchored deep into the ground. Not a single boar makes it out. These days, traps have gone high-tech. Some can be triggered remotely by a smartphone or laptop. A single $75,000 smart trap can capture up to 50 hogs with just one click. And then comes the grim part. Most trappers put the hogs down right there on the spot, using precise shots, either just above the eyes aiming toward the spine, or behind the ear aiming toward the opposite eye. Gloves are a must. Wild boars carry over 30 pathogens and 35 kinds of parasites, including Leptospira and Brucella. Some hunters butcher the meat right there in the field, but most haul the hogs to professional processors like Broken Arrow Ranch in Texas. This USDA certified facility handles 1,500 to 1,700 wild hogs each year, mostly weighing between 80 and 180 pounds. Older boars are often skipped. Their meat carries a strong odor thanks to hormones. But all those efforts have never been enough. In the Smoky Mountains, more than 15,000 hogs have been removed over just a few years. Yet their numbers keep growing. Because wild boars breed like rabbits. Two litters a year, each with four to 12 piglets. The males can weigh up to 400 pounds and run 25 miles an hour faster than many motorcycles. Even when wounded, they escape, they learn, they adapt. Texas alone is ground zero, home to two million wild hogs. In June 2024, just six hogs tore through a farm in a single night, devouring nearly 2,000 pounds of crops. But the damage doesn't stop at fields. They wreck sports grounds, outcompete native wildlife, eat eggs, hatchlings, 
and even endanger gopher tortoises. And since 1825, wild boars have attacked humans more than 100 times. From just a handful of pigs on ships back in the 16th century, this isn't merely a story about animals. It's a powerful cautionary tale. One decision, the introduction of a single species, and an entire ecosystem can be changed forever.